Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's the first time I let a cut jump yes. on me. Hey guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video. For those of you that don't know me, actually, who am I kidding? Nobody knows me. So for everyone out there, um, a little fun fact about me is that I have a fear of cats. And I know it's a very weird, irrational fear for most people, but this is something that I've lived with not all my life, but probably like the last 20 years of my life. So I, I've developed this fear um, like 20 years ago. Um, it's just such a weird thing for most people, but it, it's a real thing. And for anyone that can relate, I'm sure that you know what I'm talking about because this type of fear is not like I don't like cats. I just am actually afraid of them and I can't be around them. They just give me like they give me anxiety. I get nervous and it's actually caused a lot of problems for me because I can't coexist with them. And when I was a kid growing up, I never had this fear. I used to live in the Philippines. You know, the Philippines, there's some areas that are underdeveloped and you get a lot of stray cats. And my grandma's house was like full of like a, it was like a haven of stray cats. There's so many stray cats around that needed help. I saw lots of dead ones floating on the river and they're just really gross and mangy and is that how you say it? Aside from that, it's mostly just seeing a lot of cats die because they're not taken care of and they have like one eye missing or they have like cuts all over and they have mange or some disease and you know, as gross at it is, as it is, it's also sad. So yeah, basically that's how it started. And also my cousins had a cat and I was actually trying to be like okay with cats because I was just always uncomfortable around them. Um, just because I didn't want them around me, I didn't want to get whatever they had. And I know it sounds weird. So anyways, uh, my cousin had this cat. It was a really cute furry cat. And one time I picked it up because I was like, okay, I don't want to be afraid of them anymore. I think I was like 11 at this time. And when I picked it up, it scratched my face off. And I just, from that day on, I was like, I hate cats. I don't want to be around them. So every time I go to someone's house, one of the first things I ask is if they have a cat or not, because that will determine whether I go to their house or not. So that was such a big thing. And it's just such an inconvenience for me and for people that I don't want to live in this fear anymore. So today I'm going to meet my friend's kitten, Franklin and uh, I'm really excited but more nervous because I haven't touched a cat in I don't know in how many years I haven't really pet one in so long just this weird thing that I'm ready to get over so I think this is a good step for me and I will let you guys come with me and see how I react around this cat this is an epic moment Oh, oh he's cute! Okay. Guys, 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 this is my first time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, he's cute. Franklin. Here, do you want to give a snack? Uh, no, no, I don't think I'm there yet. Okay, I'm love you. <gasps> guys, he's, it's not that See? bad. Oh my god, this is my first time touching a cat in a long time. Hi, Bada. Who are all of these bitches? Come on. Come on, come on. <laughs> oh, he's big. Okay, it's not that bad. Okay, this is Franklin. Where are all of these bitches? Oh, he's cute. I'm not scared, guys. Look, I'm with a cat. Okay, maybe later. Require like a lot of stuff. Cat would make me happy. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! That's the first time I let a cat jump on me. Oh my god! I love you. Ola, I'm gonna steal him. Hi. Okay, cats are not that bad. He's a cool cat. He's so cute. I think this, this is a good start. Do I have your consent as his birth mother to post him on YouTube? I just don't want the fame to get into his head. <laughs> I mean, it might. So just be prepared for that. I need your verbal consent. No. She means yes. She said yes off camera. I didn't get to end the video properly last night when I was at my friend's house, but I am so proud of myself. Uh, it's been decades since I've been that close 
let alone petting a cat. So that was a really big deal for me. This was such a good step for me to take um, voluntarily. I've actually gone through therapy for this. Like I, I wasn't ready yet and I think that's why it didn't work at the time. But for me to voluntarily do this, I think it's just me telling myself that I am ready to get over this fear and take that first step. And I'm proud of myself. And I know that the cat is so cute that who can really be scared of it? But when you have this fear, doesn't matter what they look like. It's just you just don't want to be around that. But it took a lot. I mean, I didn't look as scared, but I was hiding it a lot last night. This is the thing. I don't think people understand it. Even my friends don't understand it. When I tell people this fear, they just think it's an exaggeration. That's totally not the case. And I'm actually tired of explaining myself because no one really understands the fear at that level when you have a phobia of something. Am I gonna be comfortable going to a cat cafe and being surrounded by 20 cats in one room? Probably not, not there yet, but um, I probably won't fear coming home when there's a stray cat like walking around, if it's just one or two. Um, I don't think I'll be that scared as I used to be. If you guys are going through the same thing, I hope that this video helps a little bit. And uh, for those of you that don't understand it, um, I hope you do understand if there are people in your life that have this sort of fear. I hope that you guys get to understand them as well. So thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you guys next time.